everybody. We're going on a bit of a journey here today, taking State Road 50 from Orlando over to the West Coast. State Road 50, essentially a back road through Florida from one end to the other. It will take us through Orlando, through Lake County, and ultimately our final destination will be Richland to go check out the oldest general store in Florida. First stop is downtown Claremont, where it is already starting to get decorated for Christmas. First stop up, Comet Controllers. We're here for some floats and some snacks. And they've got some spooky floats too. Look at that Hellfire float. All the video games are on free play including the greatest game of all time. Some floats. And we got an Oogie Boogie pretzel. Very messy. Pretzel is pretty awesome, but maybe not as awesome as that power glove up there. I have the power. That was good. Mary's shake was the I am Groot beer, and I had an orange bird. It's a nice little cafe slash brewery over here also. We are gonna skip those activities though. It's now full on ice cream and pretzel. More importantly, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. History. In 1921, the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad relocated over here to Rich Loam from Riverland. And in 1922, the postmaster moved the post office over to this building as well. And they opened a general store. In 1928, the store was robbed and burnt down and then built back again. And in 1936, the owner closed the store and post office and relocated to Sarasota and he rented the building as a residence to the Mills family until the 50s. Then in 1973, the owner's nephew acquired the property and their son renovated the general store and reopened in 2016. It was listed in 2017 in the historic places. Check it out. We've got company. This visible gas pump, 19 cents a gallon. metal outside. You get an ice cold Dr. Pepper from the machine. They used to do oil changes and use this as a garage over here as well. Kind of your one-stop shop. 
going in. Oh, it smells so good. Pick your own items. Mm -mm, it smells like coffee. So while the store was brought back to life, they brought a lot of time period type items here that you can purchase. So it's kind of an interactive living museum and store, including pork hocks and <laughs> some bologna bites. Oh, look at those pears. And you can get turkey, beef, pork, or chicken in a can. Ooh, key lime jelly. Grits and gravy mix. Pudding. Apple, maple, bacon jam. We might have to get that. That might taste good in a burger. Gator jam. Ginger, apple, tangerine, orange, raspberry. Look at the spices. And then more importantly, when you look up top on the top shelves, some actual items from the time period. Get some milk of magnesia. Can get some coffee here. Look at that. Or some Cajun peanuts. Oh wow, look at this. Leather journal. Oh, this is neat. Pretty. Get some knives. Straight blades, compasses, blankets. Get some hatchets or spoons and some other camping items here like that. Fresh soap. Perhaps they can interest you in a fine hat. Get a little tea set. Some jacks. It's Sparkling Mike. Right next to a duck on a bike or an elephant on a bike. You get a retro looking push car here. Train whistles, and bike horns, and bike bells. Rubber band blaster. Paper dolls, and ant farms. Part cheesy. Oh, look at this. Kind of like an old erector set. Pick up sticks. Hey, all these other kinds of goodies here too. Cranberries, and black eyed peas, and navy beans, and pickles. Pinto beans, black beans, kidney beans. Oh, wow. And it's right in front of what's left of the post office. Elect FDR. Or keep it cool with Cool Ridge. We've got some mail left in here, as well as a wanted poster. I got a few wanted posters here. Robert Kimball. Dina Nichols. Check it out. You put your letters in here. <laughs> Dried bananas. Licorice. Dried pineapple. Oh no, circus peanuts. Bacon salsa. Blue crab salsa. Country ham. Country bacon. All kinds of cookware here too. Get a nice cast iron bunt pan. Get your seeds or check on what date it is. 1928. An old school phone with some notes next to it. Can ring somebody up. We got some more items here. Shoe grease and shoe oil and some cornflakes. Asbestos weave kindlers. Shaving cream. Got some tomatoes and some lamps. That's a good health recipe there. And we have all kinds of retro sodas here. Dad's cream soda. Ah, they have the Pepsi from the Carolinas. We were up there, the birthplace of Pepsi Cola. Triple Cola, drink it for vim and vigor. You get some cupware here too. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
This machine is from 1873. Time to pick some candy out. Not for me, those little bits of honeys are gross and oh, Mary Jane's. Mary Jane's. <laughs> Mary oh no. Jane. Oof. These are mine. Can you get all these candy sticks here? So we're checking out digitally, but they do have the old school cash register here too. Not in operation, no. We had a very similar register when I was growing up. The hardware store that I worked at. We had to figure out tax by looking at a piece of paper. I'm gonna open this with it. Opener is original to the store. And it's probably seen a lot of bottle caps over the years. Time to have a delicious RC Cola, which to me, the best of all of the main brand colas. so good all right we loaded up our basket we're gonna keep on moving all right so now we've stopped over in brooksville because we're over this way we're into bonus stop time now and going to coney island drive in for their hot dogs always delicious oh look at this guy let's go get our hot dog on where's the menu Got a sauerkraut dog and two onion and mustard dogs. Although we know, even though this place is called Coney Island, that's not New York onions that we're looking at. The dogs are good. Fries are delicious. Listen to a little dirty dancing in the back room. <laughs> All right, so now our bellies are full. Our mouths are clean. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna do it for our road trip across 50. We are heading off to our second part of our adventure for tonight, but you can check that out in a separate video. We'll be going back to the Central Gulf Pasco Railroad for their Halloween shenanigans later tonight. So that's what's led us over into this area. But what a fun trip. Mm -hmm. uh, 50, there's plenty of places to stop off and check out like old Florida. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks all for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.